Nigeria is a country that is home to many wealthy individuals. Interestingly, the richest man in Africa is a Nigerian, while the second richest African woman is also a Nigerian. In this video, we'll take a look at 10 of the richest individuals in Nigeria. Coming in at number 10, we have Oba Otudeko. Oba Otudeko has an estimated worth of about 650 million US dollars. He is the founder of the Honeywell Group. He is also the chairman of the FBN Holding PLC. Oba Otudeko was born to Ayola Otudeko and he trained as an accountant at the Leeds College of Commerce in the United Kingdom, which is now the Leeds Beckett University. Oba Otudeko worked as a banker for over two decades, rising to the position of Chief Executive Officer of the Cooperative Bank in Ibadan. Over the years, he has attended executive management programs in Switzerland and the USA, one of which is at the Harvard Business School. Oba Otudeko has investments spread across different sectors which include oil and gas, trading, financial services, real estate and marine transportation. At number 9, we have Jim Ovia. Jim Ovia is the man behind the success story of one of Nigeria's top banks, Zenith Bank. He has an estimated net worth of 1 billion US dollars. He is alumnus of Harvard Business School and is well known to have introduced many innovations to the banking industry. He was responsible for leading Zenith Bank to become one of the largest and most profitable banks in the country. He is currently the chairman of the bank. He was also the founder of VisaPhone Communications Limited, which has since been acquired by MTN. Jim Ovia is also the chairman of the Nigerian Software Development Initiative, NSDI, Cyberspace Network Limited, and the National Information Technology Advisory Council, NITAC. Additionally, he is a member of the Honorary International Investor Council, as well as the Digital Bridge Institute, DBI. At number 8, we have Oji Uzo Kalu. Oji Uzo is the chairman of Slog Holding and the former governor of ABS State. His other investments include the Daily Sun and the New Telegraph newspapers. According to Forbes, his net worth is about 1.1 billion US dollars. Oji Uzo Kalu was a student activist during his time at the University of Meduguri and was involved in the Ali Must Go riots. As a result of his participation, he was suspended by the school authorities, but he never returned as he went on to building several successful businesses. If you were inspired by the fact that Donald Trump started his businesses with a small loan of a million dollars, you'd be amazed to know that Mr. Kalu started with only 35 US dollars, which he had received as a loan from his mother. At the time, he traded palm oil, which he bought from the southeast, and sold to the market in the north. Following the success of his palm oil businesses, Oji Uzo Kalu moved to another line of businesses, which was selling furniture on a large scale. Eventually, he established the Slock Holding, which is a conglomerate compromising of multiple private companies. At number 7, we have Tony Alumulu. With an estimated worth of 1.4 billion US dollars, Tony Alumulu is one of the richest men in Nigeria. He is an economist, entrepreneur, and a philanthropist. His investments include Air Holdings, the United Bank for Africa, and the Transcorp. He is also the founder of the Tony Ilumulu Foundation, which has empowered thousands of entrepreneurs across Africa. Mr. Ilumulu is also an alumnus of the Harvard Business School. In the banking industry, he was known for his role in the acquisition of the Standard Trust Bank and catapulting them to become one of the top banks in the country. Tony Ilumulu has investments in financial services, energy, real estate, hospitality, agribusiness, and the healthcare sectors through his investment company. At number 6, we have Abdul Samad Isyaku Rabiu. Born in Kano in 1960, Abdul Samad is one of the richest men in the country thanks to his investments in the BUA Group. He is said to have an estimated net worth of 1.5 billion US dollars, according to Forbes. His father, Khalifa Isyaku Rabiu, was a prominent industrialist in the 70s and 80s. Abdul Samad attended the Capital University in Columbus, Ohio in the 80s before returning to the country to oversee the family business. He established the BUA Group in 1988. The company has grown over the years to become a conglomerate worth over 2.5 billion US dollars with interest in manufacturing, infrastructure and agriculture. Abdul Samad's company acquired the Nigerian Oil Mills Limited and also acquired a controlling stake in the cement company of Northern Nigeria some years ago. The BUA Group has the second largest sugar refinery in the country. Coming in at number 5, we have Theophilus Yakabu Danjuma. Mr. Danjuma is a retired general, billionaire, and a philanthropist. His business interests is primarily in oil, and he is the chairman of South Atlantic Petroleum. 
His current net worth is 1.7 billion US dollars, but despite his austerity, Mr. Danjuma had a very humble beginning. His father, Kuru Danjuma, was a peasant farmer and a metal trader. Danjuma studied at the Amado Bello University in Zaria, which was then known as the Nigerian College of Art, Science and Technology. He studied the history at the university, after which he left to enroll in the Nigerian army in 1960. Nanjuma rose through the ranks from his rookie position as a second lieutenant to become a general and soon rose to the position of chief of army staff from July 1975 to October 1979. At number 4 we have Folorunsho Alakija. Folorunsho Alakija made headlines a few years ago when she unseated Oprah Winfrey to become the richest black woman in the world. From a fashion designer to an oil tycoon, Folorunsho Alakija is currently worth 2.1 billion US dollars, making her the richest African woman in the world. Her business interests are in fashion, oil, and printing. Her oil company, Fam for Oil Limited, was founded in 1993 and is said to generate Folorunsho Alakija at least 10 million US dollars daily in profit. She also has investments in real estate, which is said to be worth over 100 million US dollars. Her son recently got married in a ceremony that was reportedly lavish. The event took place in England and it was estimated to have costed 2 billion Nigerian Nairos. We're down to the top 3 richest people in Nigeria. At third place we have Femi Otodolo. Femi Otodolo is the son of the former Lagos state governor Michael Otodolo. He is the chairman of Forte Oil PLC, a major importer of fuel products. He is also the founder of Xenon Petroleum and Gas Limited. His investment isn't just limited to oil, but ranges across other sectors such as shipping, real estate, and finance. According to the latest release by Forbes, Femi Otodola has a net worth of 2.3 billion US dollars, which puts him at the third position in terms of wealth in Nigeria. His sojourn business started when he successfully ran the family's printing business in the 1980s. He would later venture into the oil and gas industry. Femi Otodola has real estate properties in different parts of the world. These include London, Dubai, and New York City. In second place, we have Mike Adenuga. Born on the 29th of April 1953, Mike Adenuga is the second richest Nigerian thanks to his investments in the telecommunications giant Globacom and Conoid. Globacom is the second largest telecoms operator in Nigeria, and the company has offices in African countries like Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, and Benin. According to the recently released Forbes list in 2018, Mike Adenuga's net worth is estimated at 4.5 billion US dollars, and he is the third richest person in Africa. Mike Adenuga had his primary and secondary education in Nigeria before proceeding to the United States to study business administration. He received his bachelor's degree at the Northwestern Oklahoma State University, after which he went on to obtain a master's degree at the Pace University in New York. Mike Adenuga claims he got his business acumen from his mother, who was also a successful businesswoman. And in first place, the richest person not only in Nigeria but in all of Africa, Aleko Dangote is currently worth over 12.2 billion US dollars. His wealth has granted him the rank of 100th richest person in the world as of 2018. Dangote has investments in Nigeria as well as countries like Benin, Ethiopia, Senegal, Cameroon, Ghana, South Africa, Togo, Tanzania, and Zambia. Although Dangote was born into a wealthy family, he hasn't rested on his source due to his family's riches. His journey into becoming a billionaire began when he established a small trading firm in 1977. This firm would later metamorphose into what is now known as the Dangote Group. The Dangote Group is a major force in the sugar and cement market in Nigeria and Africa. Over the years, this businessman has mastered the art of producing these commodities locally. Currently, Dangote owns refineries and manufacturing plants in Nigeria and several parts of Africa. He is also leading the way by building a major refinery in the country that will eliminate the country's dependence on oil importation. The project commenced with the goal of building refineries for crude oil, fertilizers, and petrochemical materials. This investment is said to be worth over 9 billion US dollars and is expected to be completed by 2019. Those were the top 10 richest Nigerians as of 2018. We hope you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe for more content and you can support us by simply clicking the like button. If you have any suggestions for a video, do comment down below and we will consider your ideas. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.